my body's a bit sore. Uh, I've got an appreciation for what the fast bowlers do. Don't worry about that. And I only bowled one over, so um, nah, it's all good. It was it was good fun. I, I'm spewing I didn't get a wicket actually, but no, nah, good fun. You got Tom for um, 18 a couple of weeks ago off the cousin being out. <laughs> Yeah, he's been telling about me all morning, actually. I just did a thing with him then, and he's been telling me all about the 18 he took off here. Uh, I took it easy on him, let's just say that. I, I didn't crank it up for him. <laughs> no, it was, it was good fun, obviously. Um, Pup had spoken about he's going to do anything to, to try and win a test match, and he, he pulled out all the stops. Let's, let's be honest, I haven't seen that happen too often. In a test match especially, I think Donny's about the only other bloke that's really had a, a bowl. So um, I would like to get a wicket, but it was good fun. I'd like to. No, I don't. I think obviously the wicket was very up and down, and I'm not the most gifted in the height department. So I think he was he was hoping that I'd just get one to run along the ground. So we're off to India. I'll, I'll keep practicing in the nets, and hopefully he throws me the ball. You're in Tasmania, but you're now a Victorian. How excited are you playing your first boxing contest? Yeah, obviously really, really excited. Excited. Um, it's my birthday as well on Boxing Day to to cap it all off. So. Um, I didn't think, you know, a few years ago I'd be driving into the MCG on my birthday to, to play a Boxing Day test. I thought I'd probably still would be down in Lauderdale, um, having a couple of beers with my, my mates watching the, the test match, but uh, it's all going to come come through Boxing Day morning. Do you class this as your home test or was Bell Reeve your home test? Uh, I definitely think the MCG is my my home. Obviously, uh, I didn't play that much cricket at Bell Reef for, for Tasmania. Um, you know, I've played a lot of cricket for Victoria, so I feel like you know Melbourne and Victoria is my cricketing home. Obviously, Tassie's where, where I, um, all my family and friends are, so um, I'm pretty lucky, I suppose. It feels like I'm playing two home tests in two test matches, so um, no, excited and can't wait to get out there. How have you dealt with the pressure, Matthew, being Australia's number one keeper? Yeah, obviously, uh, it's, it's a different kind of pressure than than what you have in the in the one days in the 2020s, you you tested for a long period of time. There's no there's no easy you know easy spotting test cricket. There's no where to hide. So um, it's been it's been good fun. I've learnt so much from um, the day that I debuted, I suppose, in in Barbados to now. You know, I've learnt a hell of a lot. And um, as long as I keep learning and keep training hard, I feel like that you know, I can make it work. Definitely at this level. Yeah, yeah. I think I've been. I mean, I've been good at times and not so great at other times, so I've been a little bit inconsistent. I'd like to be a lot more consistent um, with the gloves and with the bat. Um, you know, all I can do is train as hard as I can train at training and uh, put in all the work, and then, you know, the rest the rest takes care of itself on the ground. Um, you know, you're going to have days where it all works, and uh, I suppose I found that at Bell Reeve. The first day I couldn't do a thing wrong, and the second day um, I ended up missing a stumping. So, I mean, that's just that's just the way it is. That's cricket, I suppose. Smart. Uh, I, don't, I don't really read too much about my glove work. Um, I know I don't want to miss chances for the team, um, that's for sure. So I'm disappointed. I don't need to read um, what's printed or what's said in the media for, for to get disappointed or for me to be thinking about my glove work. Um, uh, yeah, well, you can't miss chances. You can't miss chances behind the stumps. It's as simple as that. You're, you, um, Especially test cricket, you've got to be as clean as you can be. So... Um, I'm thankful that they, this one didn't cost us as much as what it probably did in Adelaide. So um, I'm looking. I, look, to be honest, once I wake up and the next day, I've got to try and look forward. Um, if I'm looking back all the time, I'm not going to be improving at all, and you know stuff like that's going to keep happening. So I've got to find a way to, to deal with it. And um, you know, I understand that I've got to take every chance that I can get behind the stumps. And um, you know, I'm looking forward to, to getting out there again and having another opportunity to play a Test match and and do well for the team. Um, Yep. Uh, yeah, it's probably concentration. Um, th yeah, that's that's probably what it comes down to. I've, I've, I've definitely done enough technically. I do enough at training. Um, but yeah, that's all I can go back to is is finding a way to, to concentrate for a longer period of time and, and working on it at training. Um, every keeper missed chances. It's, it's as simple as that. I know I'm going to miss chances, but I would like to have a little bit bigger gap in between missed chances than one test match. I think it's little things. Um, I get nervous a lot, so I'd, I'd, I tend to not eat enough probably during the day. So just little things like that, you know, nutrition, um, concentration is something that you've got to be able to switch on and off. So uh, I'm learning every day that I play a test match um, how to do that. And uh, as long as, yeah, I can con continue to learn and improve, um, things will be right. Do you have a, a sort of wicket-keeping mentor that you, you can sort of chat to about? Uh, I was lucky enough after... 
Adelaide to go straight to Perth and have a chat to Gilly and yeah, basically what I've been saying is exactly the advice that he's given me. Um, you know, you do everything you can do at training and, you know, whatever happens out there happens as long as that I'm comfortable that I've done everything that I can do off the track, um, that it'll take care of itself on the track. Um, as I said, yeah, I've missed chances that I would have liked to take, but I'm confident that if I keep working at what I'm doing, uh, I'm only 24, I feel like I've got a lot of improving to do and uh, I would like to get better quickly, I suppose. Just going in that regard, coming back to Melbourne, Yeah, absolutely. I think the next three test matches, Bell Reeve, MCG, SCG, are all similar types of wickets. Um, they're going to probably be, um, you know, hard work. Uh, probably not the carry that you get at the Gabba or the Wacker, but, um, yeah, it's nice, it's nice to come home and, um, you know, be working hard and, and playing in, at the MCG, which I know so well. So I'm looking forward to getting out there, to be honest, and, and get it done. Just going into Boxing Day, yep. how do you rate Sri Lanka as a test side? I mean, they were, you know, you've just come off the best test side in the world in South Africa. Um, how do they compare? And, you know, they were really tough to break down as well, really. Yeah, I th- yeah I th- they're a very good cricket team. Um, as being said in the media, they, they don't have the pace, but they've definitely got plenty of tricks when they bowl, um, whether it's reverse swing, whether it's spin, whatever it is, they, they, they've definitely got the tricks there. So, um, you know, they played, they played good cricket. Um, we had to fight really hard to, to get a test victory, so I expect nothing different at the MCG or the SCG. They got world-class batters and, and world-class bowlers. I mean, Harass taking 50 wickets in 10 test matches, you don't get much better than that. So, um, yeah, we, we definitely expect a, a real fight again. So... Um, we are having deja vu of you know the South African test at Adelaide, so um, to get that monkey off the back, I suppose, as such, to get a win um, that we haven't won since Dominica, and it's been a, I mean, not a lot of tests in between, but a lot of time in between, so it's nice to get that feeling back and and uh, have a test victory. Uh, Shane Warne says your uh, star's teammate Jackson Bird deserves to actually open the bowling on Boxing Day. Do you reckon he does? Do you reckon he's ready? And what sort of player is he? Uh, I suppose you never know if you're ready till you play. Um, you can make as much um, scrutiny or observation as what you want on a player until they actually play. I suppose you're never 100% sure, but Jackson's a, a class player. He's done very, very well at shield, shield level. I think he's leading the wickets this year, and he, he led the wickets last year. So um, I played under-19 World Cup, actually, with Jackson, and from there to where he is now, he's come on so far. I mean, in the last two years, he's been amazing. So if he gets an opportunity, I'll surely do really well. But, you know, there's three other pretty good quicks as well in the squad. Good market. What's that, sorry? Noticed Sangakara actually improving his form as the match winner. I didn't even know Sangakara was in bad form, to be honest. He did, He he played exactly the way that I've seen him play for years. I, I didn't see anything that suggested that he was out of form. If anything, he looked probably he looked really good. He looked probably the best of their batters, in, especially in the second innings. But um, I'd like to see the back of him twice again in Melbourne pretty quickly, to be honest. So, so uh, morning. Uh, well they played in. They played at the Wacker together, and I think they did. They did pretty well together there. So if if they play together, I'm sure they do a great job. But um, who knows? Any bowler can go for any runs, I suppose, during any Test match of, of any day. So um, if they both played, I'm sure they do really well. The debate between over uh, priority between uh, you know, big bash and Test cricket. I mean, yep. From your own point of view, do you think that it sort of helps or hinders your form as a Test cricketer playing in? Uh, I don't, I, if you come out of 2020 to play Test cricket, I, I think you know with with the cricket that first class cricket they have now six games I think before Christmas, so they've played people coming into the Test team have played plenty of four day cricket going back. Um, you know sometimes it can be a little bit harder to to bring your shots straight away into a game. So, um, but I think in terms of us not playing these big bash games, I think it's probably a positive for for our team. Everyone's you know as much as everyone wants to play. Um, you know, people are probably a little bit sore, but we're players. We always want to play. We don't. We don't want to tell people that we've got a little niggle. You know, so um, to have the time off, I think, is going to be a good thing for the for the team going into the test match. We get together on Saturday, and we've got a good lead up then, and um, we're all ready to play. Adam, um, yeah, just on this chance, does it sort of put any doubt in terms of standing up to the basketball, especially on pitches that you want to say, "Hold that and make it." No, not at all. I love. I love standing up to the stumps. I mean, obviously that's when every wicketkeeper comes into the game. Um, 
I feel like I've done, you know, and I've done plenty of work over five or six years that I can, I can be fine up to the stump. So I mean, yeah, mentally, yeah, you think I think about it, go home and think about it. I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm not happy about missing chances. But as I said, it's it's a fact of life. If I if I'm going to dwell on that, um, you know, it's going to eat me up. So I've got to I've got to look forward um, of ways to improve. Um, it's as simple as that. I want to get better. So. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you don't. You don't know that you're not concentrating. I think once once the moment's gone, that's when you think, "What well, was I there? A hundred percent." That that's the question you keep asking yourself. But yeah, there's lots of pressure in Test match cricket. It's simple as that. I I knew that coming in. Um, I suppose it's more than what. I thought it was going to be as in playing. I've played, you know, my first three test matches away from home. Home test matches definitely. There's a there's a little bit more pressure on the players, but that's what we get paid to do. We get paid to perform under pressure in on the big stage. So um, if you're going to play at this level, uh, you have to learn to deal with that. I suppose I, personally, I, you know, it gives me so much more respect for people that have been playing test match cricket for 10, 15 years, been doing it day in day out. It's you know, it's an amazing achievement to think that. Ricky Ponty played 160 test matches. It seems a long way when you played seven, but um, I'm sure he didn't think he was going to play 160. So I'll just keep doing whatever I can to, to play better for the team. Um, and fingers crossed that'll hold me in good stead. So is that, so is that pressure and scrutiny sort of greater than what you expected? When I started? Uh, yeah, I suppose it is, yeah. I suppose there is more more pressure than what you probably expect, but you don't, you don't, it doesn't hinder your performance or anything like that. If anything, when you're when you do well under the big, on the big stage under a lot of pressure, it gives you more confidence to, to keep going and keep getting better. So, um, you know, when I've done well in days, it just, you know, it, it helps you train. It, it really it pushes you and wants you and makes you want to be a better player. Last question. Just last minute, you've spoken to Pup about his injury. I haven't spoken to Pup about his injury. I spoke to him a lot during the day's play, that's for sure. But he's uh, hoping that he's going to be all right. I mean, he fielded the whole day, which was nice. He took a couple of nice catches, so I'm, I'm hoping that he's going to be right to play. And um, fingers crossed. It was always a good guy to have in the league, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I said that before the start of the Test series. You know, to have Husey and Usman and those guys that have probably played seven or eight Test matches, um, not getting a game, um, to have them be able to come in and use that experience. I mean, he's played. I think he played um, Sydney's first Test, so he's used to the he's used to the big stage as well. So it'd be nice to have him around.